My name is Philip Lowe, Professor of Neurology at Mayo Clinic Rochester. The uh, publication is a prospective one-year follow-up study of the postural tachycardia syndrome. This article, this study, um, is in press uh, in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings and we look forward to its publication. Uh, Partial tachycardia syndrome of POTS uh, is a chronic disabling condition characterized by orthostatic intolerance and the autonomic features of uh, orthostatic tachycardia. It's well known that the condition is chronic and uh, disabling. There's a lot of uncertainty as to its natural history. For instance, whether these patients improve over time or not. Um, there has been some suggestion based on retrospective studies at Mayo that uh, they can improve over time. What we did was to undertake a prospective study using appropriate uh, instruments that would document uh, disability, function and symptoms as well as tests to see whether these patients improve or not. Um, what the study showed was that over 12 months uh, patients indeed improved. We documented using a uh, composite autonomic symptom score called COMPASS uh, which we developed and validated that these patients significantly improved over time. We also showed that um, over one-third of patients by 12 months had improved sufficiently that they no longer met the criteria for POTS. So these patients indeed uh, improved uh, over the period of observation. These findings are relevant in terms of practice because the score is um, developed in such a way that we look not only at symptoms, but also of function. Patients tend to continue to have some residual symptoms, but they can function at a higher level. And if we can document for them that over time they can do more things on their feet, they can go back to work, they can go back to school, etc. What it means for patients is that um, it provides them with encouragement. It also provides them with uh, direction. Uh, what it implies is that um, we teach them to maintain certain activities that increase orthostatic tolerance. Uh, they don't need to totally ignore their symptoms, but they can function at a higher level uh, in spite of them. We do tell them that the symptoms may not completely go away but they can function at a high level. For instance, they can work, they can stand uh, for a much longer period of time, etc. The next step is to see what we can do uh, for the refractory patients in terms of medications and in terms of uh, different type uh, approaches. Uh, one of the major findings that we've made recently separate to this study is that patients with POTS over time become severely deconditioned. In, indeed, over 90% of patients are deconditioned and their cardiovascular system behaves uh, in an altered fashion, just like astronauts who go into space or patients who are recumbent for a long period of time and you need a program of reconditioning. Uh, it's possible with a program of exercise over about three months that they can restore normal physiology and function at a much higher level. So that, uh, that provides them with an additional uh, tool and direction. The takeaway message is one of encouragement that if they continue uh, with their medications, um, they will improve over time. Th that is important and if we couple that 
with additional approaches, whether it's medications or whether it's exercise, um, they can accelerate uh, that improvement. So it's, a, uh, it's an encouraging report. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.